I've been meaning to talk about this show for a couple weeks now. And to say Shogun is the best show on TV is an understatement. This show has everything a viewer could want. Adventure, suspense, thrills, political intrigue, and really brutal action. But I'm Ju. Welcome to the channel. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to sub. Now, let's get into it. Hear me, my son. I know I will tell you the truth. Death. It's the only punishment here. I told you my family name, but it is well known in Japan. Many years ago, a great injustice stole everything from me. I have learned one truth. The enemies are everywhere and friends nowhere. To show your true heart is to risk your life. Because death can come for us at any moment. Doomed lovers, cursed kings. These people are godless savages. Or maybe they just don't give a shit. What do you think? Tokyo Akita, Omori Takabutta Gyakuzoku Kara, Kinomoto wo mamoraneba naron. Mohaya, Senki wa watta to omotte yoi no jana. You cannot play their games. That's how they dominate. A title reveres through the ages. Shogun. So without spoiling anything, Shogun is a look at 1600s feudal Japan. But I promise you, this show does not feel like a history lesson as we're thrown right into the middle of a simmering civil war with Lord Toronaga and his political rivals who are trying to do everything they can to knock him off. The closest thing I can compare Shogun to is early seasons like one through three of Game of Thrones without dragons, magic, or white walkers. But with all the schemes, ambitions, violence, and betrayals. And actually, Shogun reminds me a lot of a show I liked a while ago on Netflix called Marco Polo. When was the last time? Last time what? Last time you did something hard. Something that you did not think could ever be forgiven. Why? You did not because it is only I. I, I, I took the wall. I executed my brother. I do what must be done for our empire. I can script you into the Order of the Mongol Knights. You honored me. Great Khan. You share with this foreigner, not with me. This foreigner saved my life. I take all comers. And what can we do for you? Unhinge the gates of hell. Take back the throne. By any means necessary. The show was about Kublai Khan and the Khan Empire and culture, but my biggest issue with the show was his focus on Marco. He mostly came off as a stereotypical white hero character whose eyes we see the show and the world through. While nothing was really wrong with Marco as a character, he was surrounded by way more interesting and colorful characters like Hundred Eye or Kublai Khan, who I really wanted to learn more about and see where their story was going. At least for me, it felt like every time the show would focus on Marco, it would grind to a halt and I would get bored. So when the show went Introduced the exact same character type, white stranger in a foreign land, John Blackthorne at the beginning of the show, I was expecting the worst. And while he's still the most boring character on the show, I don't care anything about him or his motivations or his story at all. I was pleasantly surprised as the show went on that while we still see and learn about the world a lot through his eyes, we spend just as much time with other more interesting characters and learning about the culture and the story without him being present, which I really appreciated. And also the acting is superb with an almost entire 
entire Japanese cast. Anna Sawai is the heartbeat of the show and the person that we spend the most time with as she is a translator for Blackthorn and one of the only people that speak both Japanese and English. She also has to deliver some pretty heavy emotional scenes and monologues throughout. But don't get it twisted, this is Hiroyuki Sanada's show as he plays Lord Toronaga with the same calm and gravitas that Charles Dance played Tywin Lannister. Again, another Game of Thrones comparison. Both characters are quiet and cunning and often the smartest people in the room. And their decisions, either right or wrong, are capable of shaping their respective realms. So when Lord Toronaga walks in the room, his presence is immediately felt and the energy shifts toward him. And I need to mention how gorgeous the show is. The cinematography is beautiful. Every scene looks like a movie. This show literally looks like the same scale with even more authenticity than The Last Samurai. What is your name? I have questions. Which one's gonna lay those? And apparently the show had a huge $250 million budget, making it the largest international series ever and every dollar shows on screen, which again just adds to the authenticity of the time period and the culture. Oh, and I forgot to mention, characters are speaking Japanese throughout the entire show, so you have two options. You can either read the subtitles or you can watch the English dub. For me, I love hearing the actors' real voices in Japanese, and I don't mind the subtitle version because it makes me put my phone down and really pay attention to the show. Also, I've been watching Japanese anime since I was a kid so the subtitles don't bother me at all. The only time we really hear English is when Blackthorn is talking to his translator or the other English speaking characters are talking to one another. I think the season is 10 episodes and I just finished episode 7 and I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. There are so many twists and turns, deep layered conversations, strategies and schemes which are impacted by impulsive decisions and most importantly real repercussions for wrong decisions or mistakes. Not to mention the ever-changing loyalties which makes this show really really amazing and personally i don't know the last time i liked the main character as much as i like lord toronaga he's intelligent cunning and powerful but by the time we've been introduced to him on the show it's basically the whole world against him and even the people that are on his side think he's doomed so we're constantly watching all these streams and strategies play out against other plans and strategies it's amazing which really keeps you wondering what's going to happen and who's going to end up winning out at this point right now I have no clue. And while I personally like the Ben shows, I don't mind waiting a week to watch the next episode because this show was so good. But for you, this is the perfect time to watch it if you haven't, that you can binge the first seven or eight episodes by the time this video comes out. But y'all let me know in the comments, have you seen Shogun? And if so, what are your thoughts? And if you haven't seen it yet, please, 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 watch Shogun. It is an amazing show. Also, if you want to become a channel member for exclusive member only content, please click the join button below. Make sure you check out the next video and I'll catch you next time. Peace.